choose the incorrect match, you know. This one. Done this one, is it? The radial symmetry is found in the flower of radial symmetry, brassica, trifolium, pisum, cassia. Which one? Hello. There is in the flower, but there are uh, three types of symmetry, uh, symmetry. That is the uh, radial and then bilateral and another is asymmetric. That is either radial symmetry, bilateral symmetry, sometimes we call the dorsiventral, but here it is the bilateral symmetry, okay? Bilateral asymmetric, which is not symmetric, they are asymmetric, those of the irregular flower, the flower, if it is irregular, then they are asymmetric flower, okay? Here, so radial symmetry is found in the flower of which one? Brassica, sir. Yes, uh, Brassica. All those having radial symmetry, they are actinomorphic. Okay? They are actinomorphic. Brassica belongs to family Brassicaceae or Cruciferi. Brassica, that is, belongs to family Cruciferi. Cruciferi or Brassicaceae. In this, the flowers are having radial symmetry. See, in your uh, syllabus, okay, there are uh, we are uh, we are learning four families one is solanaceae solanaceae then we learn this fabaceae and liliaceae And from the uh, from this uh, uh, brassicaceae or cruciferi, this floral diagram, etc., has been given to explain the floral diagram and their different uh, uh, symbols. Okay, so that one also is say included more or less. So here, solanaceae is the radial solanaceae family. That is potato, brinjal, capsicum, all right, petunia. These all are radial symmetry. This is lilial, uh, liliaceae also having radial symmetry. So they are both actinomorphic. But Fabaceae or Papillonaceae, P family, that one has the bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetry and so they are zygomorphic. Okay. They are zygomorphic. So here in this question, this trifolium, pisum, and cassia, trifolium and pisum, pisum, these belongs to fabaceae. Okay. Cassia is another family, Sizzlepenny, and that one also under Leguminosi. So it is very close to this Trifolium and Pisum. So they are having this bilateral symmetry and this is irregular, okay? So these, these are having on the radial symmetry is there in the Brassicaceae. Next question you see, let 41. In the 41, the flower, 
sketches of the different types of flower has been given. Which one is hypogynous, perigynous, epigynous? Okay. So uh, on the basis of relative position of different floral parts on the thalamus, a flower can be hypogynous, perigynous, epigynous that we have learned. And here, which one is in the A, B, C, D? We have to select which one. A is what? The A is, there is a diagram for? You have forgotten? I think in the previous class we have learned about this uh, hypogynous, perigynous, epigynous. Hello? Can you hear me? Say this one, the first one is hypogynous. Say here below the gynosium all, their point of attachment, we have to see their point of attachment on the thalamus. Okay, so here it is superior, all other are below the gynosium or the ovary. So this one is hypogynous. This is hypo. These two, where the thalamus is cup-like structure or saucer shape, but the thalamus wall is not fused with the ovary wall. So these two, this B and C, are the perigynous. And the D, that one, here the gynosium and the thalamus. Thalamus is forming a cup-like structure and it is fused with the ovary wall. So this is the, this is epigynous. Okay. So this is the which so A is hypogynous, means our answer should be from these two, because A hypogynous, A hypogynous. But if the B and C is perigynous, these two are correct, and this is epigynous also correct. So our answer is A. Okay, next question. It is next question. Which of the following is a incorrect pair? Superior ovary, mustard, china rose. We have to see the incorrect pair. Superior, mustard, and china rose, half inferior. Plum and roses, inferior ovary, guava, cucumber, and D is a none of these. So, which is correct, which is not correct? Hello. None of these, sir. None of these. Is it? So I think C, C is incorrect. C is incorrect. No, C is very much correct. C, uh, that uh, hypogynous, no? This is here epigynous. This guava and cucumber. Have you seen that uh, when the cucumber, cucumber flower, this is a long cucumber fruit. This is the stalk. And here you will find all the pumpkin and cucumber. This here you will find the flower. Okay. And here this is at the base. Those particularly the fruit bearing one. No, that is the female flower. You will find like this. In case of pumpkin, if you see 
at the base. So when the flower is very young, you will find at the base that there is the stalk and this is the flower. Okay. This, uh, have you seen guava? In the guava fruit that you will find that this is the stalk of the fruit and what happened in the guava little bit of you will see some very hard calyx is attached here at the base okay hard calyx is attached so uh, so this one say at the back of this of the fruit that is opposite of the that pedicel a stalk of the fruit you will find the hard structure woody in this case this sepal is woody so these are the sepal and at the middle also sometime if you see carefully you will find one pin like structure this is actually the style of the ovary okay so it means what that ovary is below and all other part is above in case of uh, pomegranate pomegranate fruit you will get like this No? Pomegranate fruit. This is the calyx. This is woody calyx. Means calyx is not like a leaf. It is hard. So woody calyx. It means fruit. Gynosium is ovary is below and all other is above. So all these are guava, cucumber, pomegranate. Okay. Here in this case, it is inferior ovary. Ovary is below. In epigynous flower, flower is epigynous and ovary is inferior. In superior ovary, flower is hypogynous. And in case of perigynous, this, in case of perigynous, the, it is ovary is half inferior, not totally. So sometime it is in case of perigynous, partially it is not exactly ovary is superior not inferior so in the middle so half inferior okay half inferior ovary in case of perigynous plum roses they have this type of things so it is perigynous so none of the above pair is wrong which of the following is an incorrect pair none of this so our answer next question say here it is a, a little bit a, in a different way the question how many plants among this here plants are indigo fera sesvania salvinia oh, salvia allium aloe mustard groundnut radish gram and turnip have a stamen with different length in their flower. Which flower has different length of stamen? Based on the different length of the stamens, I think we have learned one is tetradynamous. And 
डायडाइनेमस इज इट टेट्राडाइनेमस कंडीशन फोर स्ट्रॉन्ग मीन्स फोर लॉन्ग टू शॉर्ट डाइडेनेमस टू लॉन्ग टू शॉर्ट सो दिस वन इज फाउंड इन मस्टर्ड ग्रुप ऑफ फैमिली एंड दिस इज इन सेल्विया ओके सो लैबिएटी this uh, this one is belongs to family labiati labiati or lamiaci here lamiaci family uh, lamiaci group is only this one salvia belongs to labiati this one has dydynamous condition too long too short and mustard has four long two short radish belongs to radish belong to mustard family okay so this one turnip also this uh, mustard family gram is allium and aloe these two belongs to liliaceae in these all the all these are e equal okay all these are equal so here we have one salvia mustard radish and turnip these are having A stamen with a different length have a stamen with a different length. So we have four. Actually, if if you uh, if you see in case of um, uh, in case of uh, this ground nut cespenia indigofera this gram they are also uh, in the family papilionesi and in the family papilionesi all the stamens are not equal gradually small and short so there is a little bit in this question but here they see the options are not many option is four so here in the mustard radish turnip and salvia so these four will be the answer 43 so this way also they can question next question number 44 here choose the incorrect pair here the terms taxonomic terms are given and their definition or meaning estivation arrangement of sepal or petal in floral bud this is correct or wrong correct sir correct so bulbate no overlapping of sepal or petal this is true this is true there is bulbate has a no overlapping okay imbricate estivation overlapping margin but in in particular direction cotton cotton is not imbricate vexillary estivation also called papilionaceous estivation vexillary is papilionaceous flower 
flower is papilionaceous and it is P. This is true. Okay. Imbricate, but in particular direction and it is cotton, it is wrong. Overlapping margin, but in imbricate, what happened? Not all the margins are overlapping. <coughs> Only few. One petal is completely exposed, one completely overlapped on both sides, and then twisted condition is there. But here in the cotton, it is not. This is not imbricate in case of cotton. In cotton, it is one is twisted, one is one is twisted, and one is imbricate here. This overlapping margin, but in a particular direction and cotton, this is actually for twisted. This one is not matching with imbricate. So this is a wrong match. And incorrect pair is C. See here some of the questions which were asked in different NEET exam. See here similar question with the estimation. This one, 31, when the margin of sepal or petal overlap one another without any particular direction, the condition is termed as? Imbricate. Yes, here it is, imbricate. This one just now we have seen that the overlapping margin, but in a particular direction. When overlapping in a particular direction, that is twisted. Here it is without any particular direction. So it is imbricate. Hmm. Here, uh, placenta and pericarp are both edible. No, this one is not uh, in your syllabus. It may be asked in 2014, but uh, uh, these things is uh, not there. <clears throat> placenta and pericarp, that is the entire fruit. We eat potato, apple, banana, pericarp. In banana, pericarp, we don't eat. In tomato, everything we eat, you know, this is, this tomato is the answer. The tomato entire fruit is edible. And along with the seed and its placenta, nothing we uh, throw, no? Sometime, of course, there is a little bit of skin layer. In some cases, it is thrown. That is epicarp. Uh, Otherwise, the, in case of tomato, everything is edible. An example of edible underground stem is that of Edible underground stem, which one? Sweet potato. Sweet potato, no, 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 no. Potato, sir. It is potato. Say potato is a modified, uh, this is a tuber, no? 
tuber or potato, this is a modification of a stem, underground modification of modification of a stem. Okay, and sweet potato is root. It is modification of adventitious root. Sweet potato is modified adventitious root. Okay. Sweet potato is the adventitious root it is and that is called of course here also we call tuberous root tuberous okay in the this is tuber potato tuber here this one potato is formed at the tip of that underground branches of the stem the portion of the plant which is under below the ground those branches they store food material and and it is a modified stem is it so uh, edible underground stem is potato not the sweet potato this is the root and a, a, a carrot is also root Carrot is root portion we eat, and in the groundnut, groundnut is that is the fruit. Uh, that is also, of course, uh, not the stem, but at the uh, uh, <coughs> branches they give rise to uh, branches. Uh, they give rise to uh, the flowers and then fruit and seed those uh, under uh, those are remain underground groundnut is uh, uh, remain underground but this is the seed that we eat so here is the root this is the root this one is stem okay next is when the margin okay this one has been clear the next question which of the following statement is correct? A sterile pistil is called a staminode. This is not correct. Because a sterile pistil it is. A staminode is a staminode is a sterile a stamen. Okay, androsium, that one is a staminode. All right, and the grass, uh, the seed in grasses is not endospermic. This is wrong. The seed in grasses is endospermic. You know that rice we eat, what actually we are eating? We are eating the endosperm that rice grain, what we cook and eat, that is the endosperm. So rice grain is endospermic, rice, wheat, maize. In grasses, the seeds are endospermic. And the edible portion is the endosperm. In case of pulses, that is the groundnut we eat. Then uh, we eat dal, we eat chana, mutter. Okay, all these we are eating their cotyledon. Okay, they are non endospermic seed. Hmm. Mango is a parthenocarpic fruit. This is also wrong. Parthenocarp are which developed without fertilization. And those developed without fertilization, they don't have seed. But mango is having seed. So this is also not uh, 
banana is a parthenocarpic fruit all right that's why in banana we don't get seed uh, without fertilization it is uh, produce uh, there a bulky proteinaceous aluron layer is present in the maize grain this is correct in the maize grain there is there is a layer just below the fruit wall there is a layer of protein and this is aluron layer this is a layer of protein okay this one is true this is the aggregate fruit is one which develop from see uh, fruits i don't know the, what did i say that day forgetting the fruit are actually uh, simple fruit aggregate fruit and composite or the multiple fruit okay so uh, in aggregate fruit uh, simple fruit is one flower one fruit from the one ovary one guide one fruit develop the one flower has if many carpel also they are syn carpus and that give rise to one fruit but aggregate fruit so what happen the flower is multi carpellary gynoecium having many carpel and all those carpels are separate from each other so apocarpus and there is usually what we find that a bunch of fruit is there from one flower this is the aggregate and when the entire inflorescence inflorescence give rise to a fruit that is composite or multiple fruit you can remember in this way also one flower one fruit this is simple that is the simple fruit one flower giving rise to many fruit usually in this case a small a small fruits are formed those uh, raspberry etc and uh, this is called the aggregate fruit aggregation grouping of aggregate fruit and one many flower sorry many flower giving rise to one fruit this is multiple or composite with fruit those the uh, pineapple and uh, pineapple jackfruit uh, uh, fig 
these are the composite or multiple fruit okay so uh, i don't know, uh, remember exactly i think this question i was these things i discussed before also exactly i don't remember that what did i tell that day but uh, you please this is the very correct one here is the many flower mean actually that is one in process many flower does not mean so that many other uh, flowers that is the whatever the flowers there in one inflorescence okay so many flower it is composite so here it is this question an aggregate fruit is one which develop from it will be multi carpellary certainly so that's why the these all these three option given multi carpellary multi carpellary multi carpellary superior multi carpellary syn carpus no then if it is syn carpus then it will form only one fruit but multi carpellary apocarpus gynoecium this one this is aggregate and complete in process then it is multiple fruit fruit or composite fruit say so one thing i should say this was of course asked in 2015 but now in your ncert book this they have not mentioned about the different types of fruit that what is simple what is aggregate and what is composite fruit these things are not there so that's why this question is as a rule it should not come but it was there in 2015 next is match list 1 with the list 2 and select the correct answer what is this cruciform corolla this is also sin uh, okay cruciform corolla corolla is cruciform naturally it is in brassicaceae or cruciferi this is also known as cruciferi okay syngenesious stamen syngenesious stamen is there in asteraceae what is syngenesious syngenesious is also known as syn anthras in the syn anthras syn means s y n syn means united means fused syn anthras that is anthers are united the stamens are united by their anthers so it is stamens are united by their anthers and this one is found in family this is the characteristic feature of family compositi 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 okay 
or it is also known as asteraceae. Okay. So, next is a spikelet. A spikelet, this is a type of inflorescence. A spikelet is a small spike like that leaflet, leaf, a small leaves are leaflet. So this is a small a spike. A spike is a type of inflorescence, a racemose inflorescence. So a spikelet, it is found in family poesy or it is grabini. Gramini that grasses, wheat, paddy, maize, and other grasses, they fall under this group. So grass. And we are getting all our staple food from this grass family. Okay, so sometimes we can say we also eat grass. Is it? Like the herbivore animals. We are eating grasses. And then epicalyx. Epicalyx is found in case of Malvesi. This is in Malvesi family, flower. There is calyx. And at the base of the calyx also, there are a structure. This one is called epicalyx because it is above the calyx. So this thing is found in Malvesi. But see, these are, if I say that this inflorescence, type of inflorescence is not in your syllabus now. So when you cannot answer correctly for this question, don't get certain that I, um, I cannot answer this. This one for your need preparation, you should not study because it is not in the, this NCRT book. So here, uh, which one will match? A with two, A two, B three, A two, B three, C four, and D one. So answer is this, B. This one we don't expect that it should come. Here is also one of the question based on, this was asked in 2015. This is also a question based on the type of inflorescence. Okay. Types of inflorescence. But this was also, this is also not anymore in the NCRT book. So, Forget it. Catkin, corim, compound, spadix, capitulum. This, these are all type of inflorescence. We, we know in the book, NCRT book, what is there? The what is inflorescence, and what are the two main type? That is racemose and cymose type of inflorescence. Okay. That has been only given. And next is fibrous root system of wheat developed from where? This is from the root. <clears throat> fibrous root system developed from the base of a stem. Next question, how many plants among 
bees <coughs> have underground modified stem which has underground modified stem <coughs> underground <coughs> ginger is a stem garlic has modified underground stem <coughs> gladiolus belongs to uh, this uh, lily family that has canna one, two, three, four. <coughs> Saffron also lily. <coughs> they have in the Liliaceae family mostly, mostly they have the underground stem. So here, of course, one, this uh, oxalis and uh, icornia, they have subaerial stem modification, not underground. Wheat, lemon, aerial. <coughs> this, this, big kitchen. Saffron, one, two, three, four. This will be four. Saffron is not having um, underground stem. Okay, so here it is four are there. Next one, common feature of mango, almond and coconut. This is also your, not your syllabus, but if it is coconut and mango, then it is in the syllabus. It is there. <clears throat> Fleshy mesocarp. Mango is not having, mango has fleshy mesocarp, but coconut is not edible. Endosperm is there in coconut, a stony endocarp. Okay, this is the, this is the common feature because all these belongs to droop. Fruit belongs to mango and coconut, almond also. This belongs to uh, in almond, we are eating seed, of course. But this is not the fruit, but in the fruit that uh, they have a stony endocarp. So, this is the common feature. Next one, see they from this type of plant, they ask how many plants among this belongs to family Fabaceae? How many plants belongs to Fabaceae? Uh, but uh, in your book, so many names has not been given. Say Fabaceae, the Sizer, Gram. Vigna, this is soybean. Gloriosa is uh, gloriosa is uh, not a gloriosa is in the lily. Aloe is lily. Groundnut in groundnut sweet pea, sunham, lupin, trifolium. Belladonna is not tamarind is not, cassia is not, dalbergia belongs to 
this Tabesi. Akashia is not Videnia is belongs to Pabesi. So these are the Pabesi member, but some of the name that given here that is not given in your book. But this much a little bit we should know by taking the, the help of other help book. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is twelve names, twelve plants belongs to the family that Fabesi. Okay. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are the family privacy. Ten, ten. Okay. Sorry. Not, uh, not this twelve. Ten plants belongs to family privacy. Okay. This type of questions are very dangerous. Sometimes if we be one or two, we may confuse, no mistake may be there. Among China rose, mustard, brinjal, this, this, how many have superior ovary? Say superior ovary is a hypogynous flower and superior ovary, it belongs to Solanaceae. Cruciferi, that is the mustard family. And also, it is the Malvaceae, Liliaceae. These are superior. So, uh, China rose, China rose belongs to Malvesi, mustard superior, brinjal solenesi, potato solenesi, guava is inferior ovary, cucumber inferior ovary, onion is superior ovary, tulip is from the lily group, it is superior ovary. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six has this is a 2015 question. Quickly, I'll finish this one. Uh, okay. Exile placentation is present in lemon, P. argimon, dianthus. Exile placentation we do find in lemon. When you cut lemon, you will find the seeds at the center. Leaves become modified into a spine in which onion, salmelia, opuntia, P. In Opuntia, those spines are spines are lip modification, and Opuntia, that uh, flat green portion, that is the stem modification. In Opuntia, we get two types of uh, two modification: the stem modification as well as the lip modification. Keel is the characteristic feature of flower of aloe, tomato, tulip, and indigo fera. It is in the indigo fera. Indigo fera belongs to Papilionesi. Here is, this is the floral formula of what? Same here, gynosium 3, androsium 3 plus 3, perianth 3 plus 3. Bisexual, actinomorphic, E bracteate and bracteate. Bract is there, E bracteate. This one is Liliaceae family, that is Allium, onion. 
in ginger vegetative propagation occurs through bulbil runner rhizome offset ginger is a rhizome and through this rhizome it is done perigynous flowers are found in china rose rose guava cucumber it is found in rose free central placentation is found in dianthus arzimon prime rose both free central is found in dianthus and arzimon okay dianthus and argimon both they have the free central oh sorry dianthus and this one is dianthus and prime rose so both a and c this one is correct not argimon Argimon, they have uh, exile placentation. Okay, so this is so today I'll stop it here and continue next week. All right. Hello. Thank you. Sir. Welcome.